Seems like that is on well enough. Doesn't seem like that should come apart anytime soon. Although it is kind of tall, and if we've got the twins in there, it's going to be kind of difficult to lean over and get them out. But then that's where this comes in. We could stand up on this step so that we can take a step up, grab them out, carry them down, and also this just about should yep, lift up and then slot back down. Okay, so now I've just got to attach everything else now that I know how it's going to look. Got all this wood ready to go, just got to put it in place and nail it down, but I think that'll do for now. I think that'll do for now. I mean, kind of got to do other things rather than just making these, I guess. There's probably more things I can do, including getting this bandage changed and cleaned and putting this hammer away, and also putting this sign up, too, would probably be quite important. I'll grab this hammer. I've still got a few nails in my pocket, but... Okay, um, you two can follow me, okay? Stay close behind. Don't want you getting lost. I want you both to just stay behind me. You coming too? First, I need to put this sign up announcing that meeting will be going ahead tonight. Right, okay. Yeah, that looks good. Committee meeting later today. Okay, that's on there tight. Looks like it is. Okay. Right. Yeah, looks good. Hopefully everyone should see that. I mean, it's in a pretty obvious place that people walk past constantly. So hopefully they should see this. So, and hopefully everyone will turn up as well. So now I need to put this hammer back. Don't want to really walk around with that if I don't need it. Hmm, we could go around, but then again, I could. I mean, I haven't done this since I was a kid, but here goes. <laughs> Still got it. And, of course, you two do it with ease. <sighs> I mean, that was fun, I guess. Kind of unnecessary, but it was fun. It was fun. Um, Now, next thing to do, get this bandage changed. I'm not sure if Sebastian is in the infirmary or not. If he's not, I'll just go in with the bandage myself. I don't think I have any on me. No, I don't, so you're definitely going to need one. You two can... Okay, because, I mean, don't know how people are with docs, but you two stay here. Okay, I'll be back. Um, oh, hey, you, you are here. How, how are you doing? Uh, hey, what's up? Uh, hey, Sebastian, have you got any bandages? I'm going to figure we do, but uh, my need's changing. Call me Seb. It's easier. And, uh, yeah, got plenty of bandages. Oh, yeah, I mean, it's just been a while, you know, since I last spoke to you, so I didn't know if you were still going by Seb or not, so I figured I'd just sort of go with your full name. I am. It's just easier, and I prefer it. Want me to take a look at your injury, or do you just want the bandage? You can take a look at it if you want. It, it seems to be healing well. I might as well take a look. I need all the medical experience I can get, since I'm the only person with some kind of medical training that isn't just basic first aid. Yeah, actually, weren't you, like, learning or training to be an army medic, or doing something like that in the cadets. Wanted to be an army medic, not that it really counts for much anymore. No, it still counts for a lot. I mean, hopefully we'll be getting another doctor here soon. I mean, he's a bit more than a doctor, but I don't know what his specific... I don't know what he did exactly, but he's a good guy. Um, could probably teach you more than you already know. All right, yeah, that, that'll that be good. So, let's have a look at your wound. He begins removing the bandage. So, this must have only happened a couple days ago. It did. And if I didn't know better, I'd assume it was a ghoul bite, but since it's a couple of days old, 
that's not the case. A, a dog or a fox, maybe? We don't have wolves or bears near us. A dog. It was um, actually the little grey one. To be honest, if it was the big one, <laughs> it probably would have been a whole different story. The dog bit you and you still brought it along with you? I, I have a soft spot for animals, okay? I'm not even going to try and kid anyone. I, I have a soft spot for animals. Right. Okay. I mean, it's extremely well stitched. Did you do it? No. Rosia did, I believe. I don't know exactly. I was kind of out cold, but I was told that she did it, and I'm pretty sure it was her. Huh. Rosia. Have to say, I'm, I'm impressed. She did a great job. Nothing I need to do or any mistakes to be fixed. Just make sure to keep it clean and keep changing the bandage. I will. It's going to leave a decent scar, but something tells me that won't bother you. Uh, it won't. It'll just be another for the collection. That isn't an actual collection. All right, then. Well, I might as well change the bandage for you. I haven't really had to do this much since people don't get hurt too often, which, which is good, but not so good for me as someone trying to learn. Yeah, I get that. Uh, sure, yeah. Be my guest. All right. Pretty sure I can't mess this up. Yeah, you got this. I mean, it's simple. Just gotta have faith in yourself, right? I'll take a seat. Sit here, wait for you to get the bandage, wherever it is. I'd imagine it's in the only storage in this room, but yeah, um, sure. Be my guest. Awesome. Thank you. Um, I appreciate that. Saves me having to do it myself. Um, yeah, thank you. I'll um, make sure to let everyone know that if they need any bandages changed, that you're happy to do it for them. <laughs> that, was a, that was meant to be a joke. Um, but yeah, you can change bandages, but... Yeah, seriously, um, you do have more medical training than most people here. Like, even like you said, most people have basic first aid training. I mean, I know I do. Back when I used to work at Bagwater, they, they had to teach us basic first aid in case anything happened with, you know, with the cranes and, you know, the forklifts. But, yeah, don't, don't doubt yourself, all right? You know what you know, and... You know what to do with that information, I guess. But, uh, right. Right, well, that was nice of him, I guess. It gave him a little bit of training. I, I don't really see how wrapping a bandage would give him much training, but I suppose it just gives him a reason, I guess, since he is, he's not wrong. He is the until eventually, hopefully, I can bring Chuck back here. I'm hoping that he'll actually want to come back here and not stay at Swift Creek, but if he doesn't, that's completely fine, and maybe I can just get him to maybe stop by every once in a while, or maybe get Seb to go there and learn some stuff, I don't know, but looks like Primo and Silo are on the gate, and it's Willis cutting down trees. Yeah, I mean, I think it's smart to be cutting down these trees, because thinking about it, this is one of the biggest blind spots we have. I mean, we built the wall all the way around here, and it stretches from that point to that point, and there is nothing but trees there. So it would make sense to cut up all the way around the wall just so that we can get a better vantage point, and not to mention, we need the wood, actually, for something I believe John said he was going to start doing. I mean, he he did some of it already. I mean, you can you can see it here. This used to just be plywood just laid down, but he's actually built it into an actual, or I can't really say built because it's not really anything built, but it's actually more secure now. You can actually stand on it and jump on it without it bending beneath the weight of you, so yeah, I mean, it's it's already an improvement, so I have to say I am incredibly with the work everyone is doing. I mean, it's been two days. That's it. 
or not even two full days yet. It's been a day and a half, nearly two days, and yet people are already making so much progress. I mean, Caitlin has replanted all of the potatoes over there. Speaking of her, she's there, and Caleb's finishing that off, and the carrots over here, it looks like Daniel and Des are doing those, and Zai needs some kind of escape route, I guess. I would say a fire exit, but that is, it's just some kind of quick way out or up into her room, I guess. Either way, it's not a terrible idea. Maybe we should invest on making some slightly idea, but ones that work nonetheless around the place, you know, just in case we do need to get out in a rush. But yeah, I mean, he's filling in all of these potholes, John is, so at least he's actually using his knowledge of construction for a good reason, I guess. I mean, he's filled in most of these, not entirely sure what he's going to do with this. It looks like Reed was making people m down there. I'm not entirely sure why. I, I can see some form of... Or maybe I I don't know I don't know anything about that but not entirely sure what that was for maybe he's trying to get him to break into like oil or something I don't I don't even know how that works or why he did that maybe it's just to get them to do something I don't know I don't know maybe this hole was not that big when I left I know that for a fact I think it was actually just a few small holes but looks like people were busy but. It's going to look good when we eventually figure out what to do with this. And if we can figure out why Reed was getting people to dig down there, maybe there is a genuine reason behind it, and maybe we need to continue that. I don't know. But that can be all. Those are all things that we will speak about at the committee meeting tonight. So John's doing some work, putting the nails in, using his hand as a mallet. Which, I mean, yeah, why not, I guess got the tools use it and this what he's done here I have to say is quite interesting into the ground you can imagine them as sort of fence posts and then he's gotten the logs that Willis is cutting down right now I mean drilling holes to the bottom of it and then putting the panels or well, not the panels the posts into the holes and sort of like together and I mean, it's, it's very, very simple, but it's effective, too. And then he's taking down these these planks of, of the wood, too, and then nailing them together. So we have these logs here, and then the planks holding them together. And, I mean, I can jump on this with my full body weight. I can even get the dogs on this jumping around on it, too. And we can all jump around on this, and... It doesn't collapse beneath our weight, and, I mean, don't get me wrong, me and John still have our issues. Come on, you two, I know I told you that you can jump on it, but come on, I think, I think you've had enough fun. Okay. I, I still have my issues with him, but, he is pulling his weight. And that's more than he was doing before, so I can't knock him for that. But, um, hey, Caitlin, how are you doing? Hey, Brent, uh, are you all right? Tired, but I'll be fine. Well, yeah, you've been you've been working hard, you know, planting the carrots and potatoes, and I mean they'll feed us when they grow. I wish. We had a bigger variety, but I'll take what we can get. I I feel bad complaining about this after what you've gone through. Don't. Okay, don't. I mean, nothing is easy on anyone. And just because that happened to me doesn't mean you should feel bad whenever you complain. Okay? Yeah. I mean, this is all a group effort. Okay? And no one will say anything if you take a break, okay? We can all see how hard you're working, right? How you're teaching Caleb, Daniel, and Des to grow and plant things too. 
I taught them before, but after Reed started getting a steady food supply, he told us to stop growing things. I know now that it was that Pigton guy that was giving him food. Yeah, but honestly, he should have let you keep growing food, even if he's getting that source from somewhere else. You should still be growing your own things just in case, you know? That's what I said, but he didn't listen. Well, at least he's not in charge now, so it's fine. You can continue to do it, can't you? Oh, also, um, I've been waiting to tell you, but Uncle Adam came here. What? When? A few weeks ago now, I think? He came looking for us because he needed our help. Reed turned him away. Uh, needed help? Yeah, something happened with the cranes, apparently. Reed didn't tell me much. Hold on, what happened with the cranes? I don't know. Before all of this, they were getting along well with them, right? Well, yeah, but then again, we weren't really up to date with that part of the family before. I mean, we had our disagreements, I guess, but it was Nan and Grandpa that we didn't get along with. We were fine with Uncle Adam and everyone else. I know, but still, why now? I mean, why come for our help now after all this time? They must need it, otherwise they wouldn't ask. Yeah, but... <laughs> What can we do about it? I mean, it's like a three-hour walk non-stop from here, and that's, and that's without stopping, without ghouls existing, and without any other objects in the way. But if we get a car, it's only about 20 minutes. Yeah, but that's then assuming that the roads are clear and that we can get a car. What if they're in danger? We, we can't just sit around and do nothing. Fine, okay? You're, you're right, we can't do nothing, all right? I, I agree, I agree with that, all right? Me and Primo want to find a car anyway, okay? So if we do, because we're not leaving without a car, we're not going anywhere until we get one, but when we leave for Swift Creek, okay, we'll go to Nan and Grandpa's, right? And we'll go check in on Uncle Adam and everyone, okay? Well, I'd like to come if I can. Caitlin, I... TJ is younger than me, and yet you take him with you everywhere. I know how to use a gun as well. I know, I know you do, okay? And I, and I know you're capable, I'm not saying that you're not. But you're still my little sister. I'm not little anymore, Brent. Even the people that are can't be. Look at Des. He, he should be at school with friends, learn, learning and playing, not being taught to shoot guns and use other weapons. And neither should you. Or TJ. Or anyone. You know? I know. We do, and, and there's nothing we can do about it. It's important, and we need to know how to do those things. So if you're going to help our family, what's left of it, I am going to be there. Sure. Sure. You always were hard to say no to, but only on one condition, okay? And you have to stick with this if you do come with us. You stay with the group at all times. Of course, I'm not stupid. I, I know not to do anything alone. Good. But that's the only way I'll let you come with, okay? All right. I, I promise I'll stay with the group at all times. Good. And in the meantime, train, all right? Just in case something happens when we're there. You never know. People are unpredictable. I'm going to be teaching TJ to use knives, if you'd 
like to join in on that? You know, it's it's up to you. Yeah, sure. I, I mean, I, I don't have a knife, but if I get one, then of course. I'm sure there'll be a few laying around we can use. I missed you, Brent. I missed you too. I didn't want to believe Reed when he said you were gone. I, I didn't, but... I had no other choice. You've just... You've promised me so many times that you won't leave me, but you always end up having to go or just go places. You're here for good this time, right? I am here for good. But I can't promise you that there won't be times where I have to go to other places, because there will be. When you do, though, I can come with you. That depends, okay, on where we're going and why. I mean, yeah, you can come with us to go see the family, and that also means you'll have to be with us when we go to Swift Creek. That's, that's fine. I'll be able to help anyway. And also, I haven't left here in, like, nine months, I think. So, it'll be nice to see some new places and Nan and Grandpa's house. I mean, you think they still have all the animals? Uh, I couldn't say. I'd imagine if things got really tough, they, they might have had to eat them. Bren! Don't say that! They would never eat the horses or sheep. Belle, Rainer, and Quinn would never let Nan and Grandpa kill those animals. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Okay? They are. They are too important to do that to them, actually. They might... They might be using the sheep to make clothes for themselves. Maybe... Maybe they can do that for us, too. Who knows? That's more like it. I do miss them. Not Nan and Grandpa as much, but Uncle Adam, Uncle Joe, Auntie Amelia, and Auntie Annie. I miss Belle and Rainer and Quinn the most. They don't even... They don't even know that Mum and Dad are gone. I know. We'll have to tell them, but that won't be for a while yet. I still need to get a working car first. Do you have any ideas where you could get one? Backwater had trucks, but um, thinking maybe one of the cars at Lakeworth still works. Not entirely hopeful, but could take a look. So you're going home? Yeah, just just to see what's left and if the cars work. I mean, if they don't, which is most likely, maybe we can at least salvage some petrol or parts at the very least. When will you go, then? Well, I'm hoping tomorrow, but before I can just up and go and do that, I have to discuss it at the committee meeting tonight first. The meeting is tonight? Yeah, um, I, I put up a sign, so hopefully everyone should see it. But anyway, I'll, I'll let you get some rest, okay? Okay. You'll be joining everyone in the cafeteria for tea later, right? Of course. I'll be there. Primo will be there. TJ will be there. Ruby, everyone else I brought with me, we'll, we'll all be there, okay? Except for the people on guard, but other than that, everyone's going to be there, okay? So, not a problem. We, we'll figure this all out, okay? We've got nothing but time. <laughs> 